Hello and welcome to our thought for the week. I'd like to share my thoughts on courage and bravery. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 says, Keep alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous and be strong. Now there's a difference between the word bravery and courage. We might say we're brave when we undergo a trial, an operation or a treatment or a trip to the dentist. My friend and I were brave when we decided to go for a swim in the sea during September when it was really cold. But we were not courageous. We were stupid as one of us struggled to breathe afterwards and it was really dangerous. Now, you see, our word courage in the English is derived from the French word courage, um, starting with cur, meaning heart. When we have courage, we are doing something brave, but as a result of love. And God says that he recognises that and he gives us rewards. And in the Old Testament, in the book of Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 15, um, the Israelites were being asked to remove the idols and to return to the worshipping and loving of the true God. And Azariah prophesied that if they were to seek God, he would be with them. But if they abandoned him, he would do likewise. And verses five and six says that in those times it had not been safe for anyone to come or go, for disturbances afflicted all the inhabitants of the lands. They were broken into pieces, nation against nation and city against city. It was perilous. But in verse seven, it says, but you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. Now, an idol can be a false god, but it also can be something that we love more than we love God or that we give more of our time to than we give to the work of the Lord so that it absolutely consumes us. And um, under the reforms of Jehoshaphat, they were asked also to start to judge fairly from the heart without any bribe taking so as not to incur any guilt before God. And in um, nine, uh, Second Chronicles 19.11, it says, to them to deal courageously and may the Lord be with the good. Um, so when they dealt with a good heart, the Lord would be with them. And when we testify for the Lord, we are also acting courageously. Apostle Paul in the book of Acts had spoken courageous courageously at his own trial before the council in Jerusalem and stood up for himself confidently after Ananias had ordered him to be struck on the mouth for speaking against a high priest. Now Paul reminded them of his own position as a Pharisee and was using God's word saying you shall not speak evil of a leader of your people. That's pretty brave but he did do this out of love. This wasn't just sticking up for himself. Um, and it said in Acts 23 verse 11, that night the Lord stood near him and said, keep up your courage, your love for me. For just as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must bear witness also in Rome. Now, Paul was encouraged to keep on with his courage and good works for the Lord and the people. And later on in Acts 28 and verse 15, it says the believers from there, when they heard of us, came as far as the Forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul thanked God and took courage from them, from their hearts to his heart. And Later on in his um, ministry at Thessalonica, it says at 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 2, but although we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. They didn't do it out of wanting fame, flattery or greed. This was done out of great kindness and love. And verse eight says, 
So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. And then um, and then the Lord Jesus Christ also said to us, I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution. But take courage, I have conquered the world. And how did Jesus conquer the world? He conquered the world with love. Now God gives us the tools to act courageously when dealing with our enemies. And in Psalm 23 verses 5 and 6 it says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And verse 6 says, Surely goodness, love and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Now, if God gives you a table, the provision to do good or to share with others, even your enemies, what are you going to do with it? Some people choose to volunteer their time rather than working longer hours and earning money for themselves. Um, some will give of their wealth to the needy and some will risk their own lives to save the lives of others. Some are hospitable. It doesn't matter if you're the person cleaning the toilets, making the tea, baking a cake, leading a church or a nation. If you do it out of love for others, then you are being courageous. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13. Keep alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong and have a good week.